the seatbelt shooting Matt Toad and Crow Cowboy. It's you. What? Who? Me? The superhero from my dream. You're her. S sorry? I, I really don't... Uh, I'm not her, whoever she is. Yes, you were in my dream. You told me the dream was dangerous. I didn't sleep for a whole week. That's not... That's not possible. I haven't been in your dreams. I don't even own a dream machine. You were there. It was you. I was so scared. I told my father, like you said. I live with him now. I haven't used a dream machine since that day. I read instead. I'm reading a lot. The book I'm reading right now is about this girl who's dreaming, but doesn't know she's dreaming. I don't see Mum at all. She's always in dream time. Daddy is very worried about her. Thank you for helping me. Uh, Zoe, right? Thank you, Zoe. Uh, how do you... I didn't... What? What the hell was that all about? I don't know her. Do I? She looked so familiar, but I haven't... I haven't seen her before. I'm certain of it. Gone to restock, back soon. Odd. Nayla doesn't typically leave her cart during peak business hours. She usually restocks first thing. Food crates. It's how Nayla gets her daily deliveries. Look, Adse, I said I'd do my part. That is exactly what you said. But I have to draw the line somewhere. I'm all about shifting the balance of power, huh? About getting the bonza to think twice. Not about fucking shit up just for the sake of fucking shit up. That's not what I signed up for. I want to pick up my supplies and get back to feeding the barrio. If I can convert some sozis and pet them heads while I'm at it, great. If not, I move on. But that don't sound like someone's committed to the cause. Oh, fuck off. I'm delivering as promised, no? I'm getting a friend to source me the nanotech. She has special access. A couple of days, week at most. But with the eye poking into my affairs, committing random acts of personal violation, drones and checkpoints everywhere, time to tread a little more cautiously, lest we find ourselves bereft of food, car, food and freedom. Anything else you need me for, brother, I'm all game. I remember you saying you'd walk the walk, not just talk the talk. I need to draw my line somewhere, and this is where I draw it. Whatever. As long as you deliver. Colo, seriously. When do I not? She looks a bit rattled. I hope everything's okay. And I hope she's not mad at me still. Puta Dupek, what are you doing here? I was just... you weren't at the cart, so I went looking. You went looking? Are you spying on me, Zike? Jesus, Ensparnella, no, I wanted to ask you about Hannah Roth. Hannah? Hannah? What the hell for? I need to find her. That doesn't answer my question, and you won't find her. She's... Shy as I just stop. Stop looking, stop asking, and stop following me. This is not something you want to get involved in. Just let it go, and go, get out of here. You're not going to find Hannah, and you're not going to ask me about her again. Go, get the fuck out of here! The Marxists are so in your face with everything they do. They can't possibly believe that Rebus will win, but they're doing their best to disrupt the status quo. Excuse me. Hello, my friend. You're not in a rush, are you? Mr. London ain't too happy with how you're messing about in his barrio, Sozie. Easy, cousin. 
I ain't I'm your not... cousin, mate. I ain't your mate, neither. Mr. London says you ain't never asked for his blessings, Colo. Mr. London, he ain't too happy about that, him. Mr. London says it's disrespectful. Tell Mr. London that I'm not messing with anything. I'm just running a political campaign. Maybe if we could have a civil discussion about this, instead Oi, of... Oi, Essie! You talk to me, not to Mr. London. No one talks to Mr. London. And there's no discussion to be had. We have no use for your commie comrades in protest. In this barrio, we vote wolf. Oh, I see what's going on. This isn't about Tef or respect, is it? It's about Kaiser Constantine and his fascio army. How much is he paying you, brother? Upset that Leia Uminska is not willing to stoop to his level and pay you off? Oh, you're just a cheap crook, London. Serving whichever master pays you the... Oh! Hello, 我寧願當井底之王,也都不願做海的路。And let that be a lesson to you, Kutas. This is Mr. London's barrio, and the sooner you get that through your coco, the less mal you'll need to deal with. Jesus, Baruti, are you okay? Mm. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be. Mm. I'll be fine. Do you want me to call an ambulance? The police? Uh, no, uh, please don't. The bully won't do a thing except maybe throw me behind bars for disrupting the peace or some chungo excuse like that. London's most likely working with this syndicate anyway. An ambulance, then? I can't afford to visit the hospital. <laughs> Not for this. I'm all right. Really. He was just trying to scare me. A medbot? I don't know what to do. I'm sorry for not doing anything. Uh, what would that have accomplished? That would have put you on his radar, and that's a place you don't want to be. Uh, I'm glad you stayed out of it. I'm not even sure you should be coming back here. Are you mad? I'm not going to quit because of this and let the bad guys win. But are you sure I can't help? I'm sure. Eh, but I'm not traveling anywhere tonight. I'm just going to watch Leia's stream note from the office. You don't have to stay here by yourself, you know. I can stay with you or you can come home and have dinner with us. No. They won't be back tonight. And we can worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. I'll be all right on my own. I promise. About Queenie and... Also tomorrow. Let's talk tomorrow. Right now, I need to sit down with a steaming cup of hot tea 
and a cold bag of ice on my... Uh, you get the picture. I understand. But, Baruti, please lock the door and ring if there's anything. I won't argue with you there. See you on Thursday, Sissi. Take care, Baruti. Hey. Ooh, smells good. What are you making? Risotto. Come over here. I got you. We're gonna be mm, nice to see you too. I needed that. Why? What's going on? We had a real scare at the campaign office. What happened? Baruti got pushed around by Mr. London's goons and London himself. Jesus, is he okay? He's fine. He's probably fine. How about you? Are, are you okay? I'm fine. I didn't get involved. But Baruti was in a lot of pain. I'm glad you didn't get involved. I'm not sure you should be volunteering anymore. Reza. You don't know what those people are capable of. They're just cowards. Cowards with the might of the Syndicate behind them. Still just cowards. Look, I'll be okay. They wanted to scare Baruti. Nothing's gonna happen. They're not gonna come after me. How was your day? Not as interesting as yours. I published that bingo piece. Now I'm following up the leads on the clampdown. It's getting ridiculous out there. Everyone's on edge. I know the campaign work is important to you, but you need to be careful about getting involved in local affairs. Even Sully doesn't want us to write too much about what's happening here in Propath. If you stop reporting things because you're afraid of what will happen, you're censoring yourself. We need to pick our battles. Like that Mr. London business. He shakes businesses down, runs the local black market. Bad, sure, but not corporate level bad. Or Kaiser Constantine bad. I guess. I'm not happy about it either, but sometimes you need to let the small fish go in order to catch the bigger fish. I get that. Maybe I'm an idealist. We both are, but I'm also a realist. And I really wish you'd drop the campaign work. Hey, come over here and taste this. I don't like his tone, and it's not the first time we've had this argument. Sometimes Reza can be so controlling. I don't like it. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. I just... He's never been supportive of the campaign work, but I love my fight. It won't lead anywhere good. And I don't even understand why it's so important to me. But it makes me feel better about myself, like I'm... Being proactive, making a difference. It's nothing. So come over here and taste this. I promise it will be worth your time. How is it? It's good. Really good. I can't wait to eat. I'll pay you back afterwards. For what? Cooking the best dinners, being the best boyfriend, knowing how to make me feel better. Mm, do we have to wait until after dinner? Won't the risotto be ruined? Is that important? Not in the slightest. Don't just say you 